In this snip, we're going to look at installing PowerShell modules from the PowerShell gallery. To get started, run PowerShell as an administrator. And then if you know the name of the module you're looking to install, you can run install module and specify the name. I use PoshRS job in a lot of my scripts, so I'll go ahead and install that. If this is the first time you're running install module, you'll be prompted to install the required NuGet provider. I'll press Y to confirm that I want that done. And then because PowerShell Gallery is considered an untrusted repository, because anyone can upload anything to it, I need to confirm that I'm happy for this module to be installed from it. I'll type Y to confirm that I'm happy. And then the module's installed. I can confirm that by running get module, specifying the name, and including list available. I have to include list available because it's not yet loaded into my PowerShell session. And then I can see it's been installed and that it's been installed to my program files directory. If I'm not 100% sure of the name of the module I want to install, I can first use find module to search for it. For example, I know that VMware's for example, I know that VMware's uploaded their Power CLI module to the gallery, but I'm not 100% sure on whether or not they've prefixed the name or not. So I can use wildcards and look for Power CLI with the wildcard at the front of the name to account for any prefixes. This will then go off and search the PowerShell gallery and will return any results. It's found a module named vmware.powercli, and now I can pipe that result to install module. Again, I'm asked to confirm whether or not I want to install from an untrusted repository. I'll press Y to confirm. As you can see, the PowerCLI module has a number of dependencies, and these are being handled for you automatically. And unfortunately, once you've got to the end of the installation for PowerCLI, you're told that there are commands in it that already exist on your system. This could be that other modules are using the same names as the one that you're trying to install. So in order to actually install this module, I then have to rerun the install command and specify allow clobber, which tells PowerShell that I'm okay with these two modules having overlapping function names. And now that module's been successfully installed, we can again confirm by running get module, specifying a name, and I'm going to look for all VMware modules, and list available. As you can see, Power CLI has been installed, along with all of the other VMware dependencies that it relies on. Finally, it's also possible to install modules to your user directory, and to do so, you don't need to run PowerShell as an administrator. To show this, I'll run a non-elevated copy of PowerShell, and I'll install import Excel, and I'll specify a scope of current user. I'll confirm that I want this to be installed from the untrusted repository. That module has been installed, and we can see where by running get module. And as you can see, it's been installed to my local user directory. That's been installing PowerShell modules from the PowerShell gallery. Thank you for watching.